So here we are, people, on the 3rd of March in the Philippines, welcoming you all to my life, my travels, my adventures. And this time we're back in the Philippines, me and my sweetie, and in our new bedroom, the house being built. So it's not much here right now, as you see, still under construction. My lovely bride had this bed made for us. She's busy checking all of her messages. And we had a few things brought up here before we arrived on the 27th of uh, February. So here's a little quick, quick peek at everything. This is the bathroom that we're still fixing up. We went shopping at uh, yesterday in Cabin of Two on and bought a shower curtain, a few other little things. All the fixtures are not hooked up yet. One of the workers just hooked the water up in the sink, so see, it is still a construction project. And her sister was nice enough to get some cabinets and put in here for us to uh, hang some clothes in. This is how the ceiling is. It's nice. We had this little seat here built. Sit down and take a shower. I love the shower set up. It's like rain coming down. So it's pretty nice. We have four bedrooms here upstairs. As we walk out into the hallway, and we got a problem with uh, birds kind of love this place trying to keep the birds out but this is the living room from up here the workers are still working there on the stairs putting these big plates down you see the trim in the house is like a maroon color so we're trying to keep everything highlighted in that sense how the doors are painted the hallway and we're we're keeping all the rooms they're kind of the same we purchased the bathroom fixtures like this bedroom well this one don't have the little seat in the shower but the, all the ceilings are pretty much the same we tried to make the bathrooms a little wider. We tried to make the rooms a little bigger. <clears throat> this room was supposed to be very big, but they kind of messed up the design. We go out here. It's not really finished. Get the railing built out here. So as you see, it's still pretty much a work in progress. Hard thing, we have to keep all the kids from coming up here. It's another one of the rooms, so. So we have four bedrooms upstairs. We got two bedrooms downstairs a kitchen and a uh, guest bathroom is downstairs so six bedrooms in this house that's for four people well it's six of us here now her sister has been managing everything since we we're working overseas in Germany so I'm hoping the stairs is going to be finished this week. We have kind of a false wall to bring down because that's got the old part of the house separated from the new part, which is was got a primer paint that's yellow on it that has to be painted too to all match this here. Hmm. So we will 
cruise down through. Well, below here we have another kitchen built. It's called a dirty kitchen, but ours is built onto the house. Right now it's a storage room. We're really not using it at all because we had to move a lot of things out of the way. This room here, you can see a lot of stuff, a lot of it we're just going to throw away because I want to buy all new furniture. <clears throat> but got to get with my sweet, lovely bride to see what she want to part with. Because we want to fix up the dirty kitchen. It's going to be really a modern kitchen, but we're just going to call it that. So we kind of have two kitchens in the house. So we're going to go downstairs and take a look at that. So we pick up now to what is the dirty kitchen and this kind of makes it there. We built a spot to have something electric, charcoal and gas if we want it. But right now the dirty kitchen is a storage area for a lot of things we moved outside of the house. So we bought on these walls behind these blue curtains we bought tons of pots and pans and everything you can think of that's all still wrapped up in packages from Germany. We shipped a lot of things over here to use everything you can think of. And it's all in these boxes that we will be unpacking once the house is it's completed. We want to get an island or maybe a big table built in the center of here because we'll put a washing machine and everything. All this stuff is going to go. But right now, it's what we moved from the rest of the house. And uh, everything up there is new. <laughs> Just so we have everything we need. And this is the other part of the house the terrace we had built. This was all finished a couple years ago and it's a little gated just to give, let me go outside, put everything in perspective. It is hot out here. So this is the house. It's two stories. It was going to be three, but that was too expensive. So, this is the outside of the house. So, this is how it looks. We were upstairs right there coming from that room and went back in through that door and this part here will be the main entrance of the house so we had a little concrete place built out in front and there'll be a overhang there maybe we can sit outside we still got some issues with the neighbors because they're approaching on our property so, you know, in the Philippines, that's yet to be resolved. So we're going to have to do a little negotiating because this house is in the way of where we want to put a, a big gate. But this is the house. A little sneak look into it. In this room right here, that's also a kitchen or probably be a dining room. So before I go shave and all, let's go in downstairs to just do a quick peek. So here it is, big high ceilings. And there's the stairs coming down. And there's the fake wall to, that's gonna be knocked down sliding glass doors to get out 
the back way. And my man there, he's painting all the trim. It's what my wife wants, so. So once I finish up my time in Germany, we still got to buy a ton of furniture. But let's go back here and just look at the, uh, see we got these big sliding doors in the back where we want to get a, a fence. And we're probably going to darken these windows, tent them, or maybe drapes or something electric over it because you know you don't want all the neighbors looking in privacy something and we got to get curtain rods for all the windows and everything put in <laughs> so progress is being made of course it's I need to go back and look at pictures from February of 2020 when I was last here to give you an idea of how the house looked. All this was gray. It was just the shell of everything. There was no paint, no nothing. And of course, I was here right before the pandemic hit and left the Philippines before lockdown. But my wife got stuck for five months. So she did a lot of work like this garden here. She smoothed out, she brought in a lot of dirt from there all the way around was just piles of dirt from them building. She raised the ground level up and planted, there was only like one banana tree here. Now she got a dozen. They just grow like crazy here. And we even got bananas on the tree up there. Some didn't make it. But there was only like one or two. And everything just took off growing. She made a garden back here. This was a deep hole back here. And she leveled out all the ground. Little cage for the little puppies we got. But she raised the ground level up tremendously all around the house. She did that. She got some of her nephews involved. And they came over and helped her. A lot of plants. I'm not complaining. Our sister built a little make to a little garage, a little Kubo that we used to use back in the day. We used to actually eat in here and everything when we were first starting out. Now the cat's on it. <laughs> You're soaking your feet. It's my son there. Caught him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> He's getting ready for basketball. And uh, yeah, back here is interesting. Let me maneuver over here. Because it's been two years. We haven't been able to, to travel here since lockdown. Since everything just opened, we made it back. <clears throat> this Here's another view of the house. See the work going on. That's where the dirty kitchen is. We have a bedroom there. One at the corner and bedrooms above those. And this little tiny piece of land I'm standing on, her sister bought this. So we own it now too. It used to be very low. Was, was a little jungle swamp because you see how far that down is like four or five feet this used to be a lot lower than that 
when it would rain, this whole thing here, as you see, was like a pond. It was tall grass. There was trees growing up in here. And all kind of animals. I seen one of those big old lizards, I guess you call them a monitor lizard, was by the door. Well, my wife cleaned out all, everything you see here. And she raised the level of the ground here to be almost even with that septic tank. We got a lot of things to move out. And like in the Philippines, a lot of trash to clean up. That's one of my jobs I do every time I come here. I clean up a couple bags of trash because we have a lot of kids over the house. It's a big family. But anyway, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this land, but if it's me, it'll be a place to barbecue. Because I want to tear down a lot of this stuff here. Maybe put a Kubo there. A place to grill, as Germans say, a grill platz, a grill place right there. And we need to get a fence started all over there. Cause you know, as the guy from Sunshine's shoulder said, to keep the honest man honest what we have to do so but the work was great that my wife did clean up all this stuff back here it was a jungle and lots of trash and we still have lots of little pieces to clean up I'm just gonna pay somebody to come over and take the trash away. That'd be the quickest thing. See if I can do that. So, that's how the house is going. And there comes one of my nieces and nephews. Hey, baby. Hey, Lola. Hello. We're going to collect some sand. Some. Some sand? Yeah. What are you building something? Yeah. Engineers. engineers they have engineers in their family, so. Lots of sand here. So, so they're always practicing future engineers of the Philippines. <laughs> uh huh. And that's Victor. He always comes over the house in the morning and have breakfast with us, just like one of the family. They'll just walk on in. <laughs> it's very polite. They'll have a nice conversation with you. Like an adult. It's amazing. Okay, I'll see y'all. Bye now. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's a quick little rundown of our house progress. Like I said, I hope the workers will be through with the uh, stairs by by Saturday. That way I can uh, show you guys the progress because I'm trying to see how long is, I think their time is up. At least how long we could have them their contract or whatever is it's up on Saturday so they say they can finish with that and we have another guy coming to do the railing for the terrace upstairs so stay tuned I'll let you know so everybody can see how the progress is going and it's very hot here 33 degrees Celsius Whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I'm sure it's over 85, 90 degrees here in, on the 3rd of March. So, thank you all for joining me. And please come back again and again and again. And you got any comments, let me know. 
All right, y'all take care and be safe. Bye now.